Hello, welcome to the video. Today we're back with the C128 and also we've got the Sidkick Pico inside which if you remember on a, one of my previous videos is this. So it's a replacement SID chip and it's just in the C128 and to begin with we've got it in single channel mode so it's only acting as one SID. So yeah, let's have a look at that. But before we get there I just want to mention these. So this is a Pi 1541, I've assembled a few of these. Um, this one here is one I built and designed a case for a long time ago. Um, yeah, I've had an absolute bastard of a time with the C128 and the Pi 1541 because it just keeps shitting itself. I don't know why, I don't know what is going on, but I've only just got it to run stably. So I've got a decent power supply, I've got an overclock on the Pi, everything as is meant to be. I've got genuine um, open collector chips in there. Yeah, it's, it's really weird. But anyway, let's uh, let's have a look. So, if we start this up, as you can see, we go into the start apps. Brilliant. So the first thing I want to do is, I just want to quickly show something. I'm not going to play the whole tune because, uh, you know, that's ridiculous. But if we go into uh, SIG Play, and 64 mode. Oh look, device now. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess that just goes to show what I was talking about. Let's try that again. Right. Let's try that again. Ah, now it's found it. Not at this time keyboard right okay so here we go we're going to choose what we want so we come down to Sid here we go um, now on retro tech insanity channel he um, he mentioned that return to oblivion had a few problems so i've got the two sid files from csdb that's actually in there so let's have a look. listen Well, I don't know if you can hear everything I can hear, but that is coming out absolutely superbly. I can't see any problems with that at all. I did have an arm sit in there. And I'm going to say this probably sounds a bit better to me. Right, let's move it on to the next one. That sounds brilliant. Yep. Okay. Right. Let's see if I can get that on the other side. Got a 
but you can on a tripod it right in front of the my way I've got to walk. So Right, okay. So if we jump into um there we go. I know I should be using Jiffy commands, but I can't remember what they are. Who can? Um, that's what I think we need. Right, so. Um, that's not it. Try this one. There we go. Quit out of that. But now we can see on, on there that it's actually loaded the image, the D64 ready. So we can do a regular load star. Is loading, there we go. Let's just go get that joystick in there. Okay, so I've got it set for one Sid. Now, beans as it's detected the C128, it should be using the extra um, CPU cycles. Now, with one SID, that also means that you've only got three sound channels available. Sounds pretty damn good. Yeah, I'm not a Mario player, but anyway, you get the picture. It um, it sounds good. Let's come out of there. Right, let's go into. Um, I don't know if it'll work under number one. Right, this is the problem that I've been getting a lot with the Pi in 1 to 8 mode. And that is, it's locking up. I don't know what is going on, but it's quite random. Because if I reset now, and this is not what this video is about, but if anyone knows the cause to this, please give me a shout in the comments. So let's go back into 64 mode. There we go. So it's not the pie that's overheated because, not in this case anyway, because if it was, oh, should know better than that. How about that for a rookie mistake? Let's go 
as I'm talking at the same time. That's what happens when you get past 50, isn't it? Right. Try that. See, it's working. If it locked up due to overheat, you wouldn't get anywhere. So, okay, let's go into... Um, this is the notorious test for the Pi 1541. And you can see it's mounted the D64 image. So if we quit out, we can then go star. But anyway, on to the Sidkick Pico. Um, that sounds brilliant. I really love this device. Here we go. Same jiffy. There we go. I can't really tell the difference between that and a regular SID. We've definitely been spoiled by cartridge loaders. So, as you can see, or hear rather, that sounds superb. One thing I do want to mention, and this is on a bit of a tangent now, the Kung Fu Flash doesn't work in C128 mode. Yeah, if you try and load anything, it puts it in C64 mode only. So you can't load C128 stuff. How about that? So, speaking of which, let's do a reset. Yeah, I'm a bit gutted about the Kung Fu Flash there not, not working in C128 mode. I thought the PRG injection would still work or the D64 mounting. Nah, it just says, no, I'm not having none of it. Right, here we go. So in C128 mode, I know it doesn't look like a standard C128 mode, but it's just that its colours changed in the boot sequence, that's all. Um, so if we load file browser 128, there we go, boom. So now, if I go into my C128 directory, So if we mount that D64 and it's mounted, nice. We then quit out, do our regular load star. Here we go. Right, so that's probably the uh, the first problem that I think we've we've run into now. Um, there's no sound. There we go. Right. I think it's a four three three three. 
Ah, there we go. So, SID1. What have we got here then? I haven't changed these. And Digiboost. Right, I'm going to try a 6581. Okay, that's pretty much right. Okay. Right, let's go back into basic seven. Do the same thing again, yada yada yada. That's better. Well, as you can hear, the sound is working perfectly now. I don't think this is an overly great game, but... Right, well, so, where are we at with this? I really like it still. Um, I think the next thing to do is, I'm going to figure out how to get that A5 and A8 line um, non-destructively added to the, the C128 Neo, and um, then we can go from there and try a couple of dual SIDs. And dual SIDs are a bit problematic on a, on a C128 anyway. That's why I've got a single arm SID in here, uh, rather than the arm 2 SID, which is a very nice device, by the way. Um, so yeah, so what I'll do is I'm going to get set up for that and uh, in the next part of this video we're going to uh, have two seats in there and try some two seat tunes. See in a bit. Okay, so here we are. C128 Neo is opened up. So what we've got here is the Sid Kick Pico. We've got a DAC fixed to it. It's quite hard to see but I've got two very small Kynar wires. And under the board, they're going to the cartridge port. And that's for A5 and A8. And that allows us to have two SIDs. I've got a um, 3.5mm jack cable plugged in. And that's just going to the PC so I can record it. Now, the firmware allows you to use both the 8-pin uh, AV audio jack on the back here. And the DAC at the same time albeit at a small reduction in quality for what comes out the 8-pin and for me that's perfect because what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up putting some ports down here 
and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have some RCAs, I think down here, I'll put them, and they'll go to the outside world, because I've got the, um, as you can see here, I've got the Luma code in here as well, so yeah, um, so this is all set up, ready to go in two SID mode, and uh, we're gonna fire some stuff up, and you can see just how good this is. See if we can get it to fall over, shall we? Okay, so here we are all set up. I'm gonna fire up the C128, and uh, there's not much uses two SIDs in C128 mode, except perhaps this. We'll set this to second, SID at D420, which is correct for us, test, so let's hear how it sounds, we're in 1 to 8 mode, So as you can see, no issue there. Let's get set up for the next one. Okay, here we are again. So, let's try this one out. This sounds phenomenal. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the full track after the video and I'm gonna record it straight from the DAC into the PC so you'll be able to hear it. That's, that's brilliant. Let's try another one. Again, I'll leave this full track after the uh, after the video. So they, these are playing really well. I mean, it, they just sound superb. Um, what you can hear on here is actually via um, just the TV speakers, and that's coming out of the eight pin jack at the back or eight pin din at the back. And the quality is a little bit um, uh, lessened because it's coming out of the DAC at the same time. Um, let's try um, this one. I did this for um, the Sid Kick, the other Sid Kick I did, the Teensy, which is uh, this here. This is brilliant. That sounds phenomenal. So yeah, again, I'll record these and I'll leave them after the video. 
So let's uh, let's let's just do this. Okay. There's, there's a few two sids out there, but if I just turn this down a bit, so we can talk. So the problem being is that the C C one two eight doesn't have the same range of memory available. Um, so doing two or three SIDs can be problematic. If you set it to D E double zero or D F double zero, which is in your I O one and two range for your um, cartridge port, you're going to run into trouble with cartridges. So realistically, for me, D four twenty is perfect. Now the SID kick. The Pico it is, is phenomenal. I really like it. And the more I use it, the more I like it. And it's going to stay in this machine. So, yeah, there's not a massive amount to say. Once it's set up and working the 128, it, it just works with everything you chuck at it. I've really got nothing negative to say about it, especially at the price point it's coming in. So, yeah, um, I've had a few a few issues with the Neo, but that's, uh, that's nothing to do with the Sid Kick. Um, all I'm going to say is, these fit in C64, C128 bread bins. If you build one uh, and you put it in a C64C, you might want to make sure that it's flat, the same as in here. Um, if, you, if you put a connector on it, it might stand a bit too proud. Um, what I mean by that is, something like this, where um, I've joined it with two, it, it stands, as you can see, it's quite a deep unit. So, yeah... I, I would probably recommend just soldering this with pin headers to the bottom, which is what I've done to this one. So what I'm going to say now is um, thanks for persevering with this video. It's taken me a little while to do it. Um, I've had a lot going on the last few weeks, so yeah, it's not been as regular an output. Um, don't forget to check out my compadres in the description. They've got excellent stuff going on their channels and uh, yeah stay tuned after the credits
Thank you.